And U.S. medical students can now use virtual reality to hone their skills in a mass casualty situation. A system which simulates the aftermath of a highway bombing has been developed. Putting theory into practice, the VR system allows students to experience what it's like in such a scenario. They learn how to assess and prioritize casualties according to the severity of their injuries and treat them. The students can interact and get immediate feedback on their actions. The system was developed by the Yong Lulin School of Medicine and the Smart Systems Institute in NUS. There are plans to roll it out from the next academic year. Just having it visually, just so that your emotions get a bit desensitized as you see like visually like disturbing images, like it just helps you to be able to um, be able to tackle the situation in real life better. And I think it gives us more confidence so that in the future, like when these things do happen, you know, we're not we're not frozen and we're not caught off guard. The future plans include uh, creating other scenarios uh, that include managing mass casualties in the emergency room or even operating uh, uh, theatre and uh, using the system for interprofessional or interdisciplinary training, for example, with nursing students or nurses and uh, also possibly in future creating pre-hospital scenarios uh, that might be of interest for the civil defence or even the uh, SAF.